You, O Lord, are in the midst of us. You have called us by name. The parish of Longloo Trenchard in Devonshire is proud to number amongst its former rectors the Reverend Sabine Baring Gould, the famous author and divine who wrote the hymn Onward Christian Soldiers. Baring Gould himself was not a man who took much account of earthly fame. It mattered little, he was fond of saying, that the name of any individual Christian soldier should echo down the years. What really mattered was the good a man did in his lifetime to those amongst whom he lived. And he would take visitors to see a worn tombstone in the churchyard of Lou Trenchard, which covered the bones of a rector of long ago. When this man had died, his grateful neighbours had inscribed on the tombstone a record of his life, telling passers-by how well he had tended his flock, helping them from childhood to age, feeding the hungry, visiting the sick, beloved by all, and setting an example by his own life. He seems to have been a model parson, the visitors would say, but what was his name? Oh, nobody knows his name, Baring Gould would reply. Generations of schoolboys have sat on the bank above the stone and their feet have gradually worn away the inscription, worn away the name. And so, you see, my predecessor has a perfect memorial. People remember what he was, which is the important thing, and not who he was, which does not really matter at all. Let us pray. In all we do, O Lord, may we seek to glorify your name in singleness of heart. Eternal God, source of our being, you have called us into your community of self-giving love, and you guide us on our journey toward yourself through people who are special to us, through experiences that shape us, through words and scenes that cry out to us. With each new day that dawns, Renew our vision of your kingdom, and so imprint on our lives the cross of Christ, that others may discover there wholeness in brokenness, celebration in suffering, life in death. We pray for your Spirit's enabling in all that we strive to do and to be, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.